Hey you folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battletech with the Heavy Metal Expansion. And we're about to take our first flashpoint here in the system of Phaser Home. We are, we've crossed actually quite a bit of, well, I was going to say the galaxy, not the galaxy. First of all, not even the inner sphere. Uh, we were somewhere over here. I guess, yeah, these are the systems visited. Boom, 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 long travel to get over here. Um, and I was thinking, this, this flashpoint, see it's a different color, I think. Yeah, this is a flashpoint campaign. This is, um... This is a special one for heavy metal. And I mean, maybe maybe we could have started right away. We don't have a heavy mech right now, but maybe we get one? Or maybe we'd get stuck, I don't know. The Flashpoint should come back. Anyway, um, we are, before we're going to jump into our current Flashpoint, which I think is the one that gives us the Hatchetman, we're going to make some tweaks to the Centurion. It occurred to me that we had gotten in a pack the uh, auto cannon, the ultra auto cannon vibe over here. So whereas the AC-10 fires a single volley of 60 damage, this fires a dual volley, 45 each, so that's 90 damage. So it's 10 damage per ton, which as a ratio is a hell of a lot nicer than this, which is five damage per ton. Like, look at that. Now it does use up more ammo, it uses up two ammo per shot. So I had, to, I had to go and buy an extra AC-5 ammo. So it's 15 rounds each. So we'll have 15 shots with the Ultra Auto Cannon. It is long range, very long, at 540. So we could sort of base a little around that. Uh, if I still had large lasers, that might have been tempting. I think it's probably worth um, going ahead and doing the LRM thing. On LRM-10, LRM-5, just, you know, a certain amount of desperation. We'll do that. Um, we're sort of we're sort of capped. I mean, unless I was spending more money, but we're a little bit low, so I don't think that's going to happen. Um, we could throw in a couple of medium lasers just to say. Heat efficiency is pretty good right now. I'm, I think we will go and add jump jets to our mech here. Um, because we're long range, I'm not as concerned about the armor. Uh, how many rounds is this? 120, so it's 12 shots of that, except less than that. Hard to do the math. Maybe we need another LRM um, ammo, actually. We'll do that, and I'll call that good enough. We'll put the jump jet down there. To sort of, you know what, it'll look a little sexier if we do that, wouldn't it? Have the jump jets at the top. I mean, it doesn't matter, but there you go. It's a little bit more even. So yeah, half leg armor. Okay, here. I don't think I need quite as much back armor, because... We are, we're going to be standing fairly far away. I don't want to lose the Ultra Auto Cannon. Let me bring that up. We can bring this down just a little. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Maybe I'll max out the arm. Uh, oh, there must still be an odd number somewhere. Oh, it's in the legs. Um, you know what? I'll bring those up and bring down the arm over here. There you go. I think that's going to be all right. It's going to be 14 more right. days to do that. Although we're doing the refit harness, I think it's going to be okay. We're mostly we're going to sit here and we're going to wait before we start the flashpoint. We should have tell plenty of time. Or if I'm worried, what I can do is I can begin the flashpoint. See, mech max tonnage. That's on a specific thing. One or more contracts. You know what I'm realizing? I think this is the fixed. Yeah, this is just presented oddly, I think. If this is the Hatchetman thing, I think that may be a little bit deceptive. Now I'm thinking I should have gone for the other operation right away. And don't tell anyone anything. Defense contract. Oh, a raven! Oh! Okay, so this is new, because I think the... Uh, is it? Maybe it's not. I don't know. But yes, I have not done this. It's not the Hatchetman, but that's it. It's probably, the fixed slot is probably Raven. Now I'm thinking if I'd gone to that other mission, maybe it gave me a heavy one right away. And I should have done that, but oh well. We'll just have to wait. Uh, in your time, labor in behalf to reverse engineer it. So the reverse engineering the Raven, which is also the ECM su uh, suite. Pelons are laying siege to Phaedra home. Uh, for the sake of the inner sphere as a whole, cannot be allowed to happen. Yeah, they'd have unilateral access to the new technology the Raven was built upon. So yeah, it has all sorts of uh, electronic countermeasure stuff. Prototype stage and Capellans haven't actually deployed a Raven on Battlefield. They will soon enough. Okay. Free World League. Yeah, if we can ninja that stuff, that would be great. Okay, understand the scenario. 
Locate the Raven, bring it back to me in one piece. Rendezvous with Bravo Lance. Your Ombra is a niece of mine. Operational knowledge. Gre uh, we've been in contact. Ombra has agreed to turn against Dame Catherine. She and her Lance are patriots. They know enough to prioritize the League as a whole over their own little corner of it. And trust these people. Motivation. Agreed to repatriate them. All right. We'll rendezvous with Bravo Lance. Bring me the Raven. Company will be rewarded. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so yeah, probably the second mission will be Ombra piloting the Raven um, in our little operation here. So I think now that I've accepted the Flashpoint, it kind of expired. Not that I think we were at any risk of running out of days. But we've got it in there. Yeah, there are some various requirements. We'll, uh... Okay, actually, let's take a look. Just on the off chance. If we start this now... We'll negotiate for extra salvage. Max 55 tons. Uh, which is fine. Yeah, all our slots are okay. See, it says light mechs, but they don't mean light mechs. They just mean not, like, heavy. Um, so yeah, we don't have to start this right away. We can wait for the repairs to be done. I still have to spend the experience in my barracks as well. Refit harness will ship the, hey, or bring down the days. Yeah, I think we just saved, like, three days on the Centurion here. Uh, I'm not going to start another project because we are a little tight on funds. But yeah, getting those extra tech points is pretty important. Otherwise, you're just spending way too much time waiting for repairs. And time is money because we do have to pay the finances every month. Job's done. Done and done. Okay, let's go and check the mech warrior situation. Always delay um, upgrading your mech yep, warriors man. as long as possible because the higher level they are, the more money you pay them um, during the maintenance. So yeah, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of bulwark. I'm going to put bulwark in everyone. But then we're going to do some subspecializing afterwards. Training complete. So, do I want to pilot the heavies or the lights myself? Well, you know what? Since I can't die because I'm the main character, maybe I'll just pilot the lighter ships. So, I'm going to make myself a pilot. Training confirmed so, I'm going to rename myself so I don't forget. And this is something I like to do. P-Quill. So, I know that I'm a pilot type up, person. Um, yeah, again, Bulwark over here. Um... The other thing I like is Breach. I like to have someone with the um, the high guts as well for the coolant vent. I don't terribly care about Master Tactician. The plus one initiative is nice, but the other three I sort of build mechs around the idea of having those guys. So, I mean, we might have one high tactics person. I mean, in the end, we'll, we'll have people with plenty of tactics as well for indirect fire and whatever, but I don't tend to use sensor lock much either. So I think we might end up getting you over into the gunnery, but we don't have to specialize anything yet. But yeah, we'll grab the bulwark. That's going to be quite nice. All right, contract time. Do do do. Prototype. Negotiate. We'll go for some extra parts over here. Um, yes, we are going to. I guess we're dropping the fire starter for just raw tonnage of the Wolverine. Uh, Meanwhile, there's none of these. Actually, what I'll probably do is I'll keep piloting the Phoenix Hawk. All right, let's actually move it over there like that. I'll keep piloting the Phoenix Hawk because. Piloting, movement, I'll end up having the higher, um, uh, more evasion pips, as well as the ace pilot is going to be pretty useful there. Uh, as far as the rest is fine, we got ranchers as a spare in case someone gets injured. We will recruit some extra mech warriors soon. I'll, I'll like to fill up the full eight. Usually I don't need to go more than eight. You, and eventually unlock the other habitat pods just because they're prereqs or other things, but that's about it. So yeah, I have not done this flashpoint. I have no idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. Make ourselves useful. But yeah, hopefully that other flashpoint, which I think is the heavy metal one, the flashpoint campaign. And for all I know, it could have started it right away. But it implied that you needed a heavy, and I did not have a heavy. Unless, for their heavy, maybe they just want, like, you know, maybe they just want not light, so that it's, like, 40, 40 tons or more. I don't know. Not clear. So, yeah. Take the field alongside Umbra and the rest of Bravo Lands. Sweep the AO for hostiles, eliminating any compelling units. So it's just a battle-type uh, mission. That's going to be fine. And begin. Ooh, and it is an urban in in area, which makes sense because this is part of the um, urban warfare expansion. 
Here we are, so scenic new Jacobstad, the shiniest combat zone in Phaser Home. I've got Bravo Lance in the comms, the drop pods are prepared to launch. Are you reading us, Umbra? We read you and we appreciate the assist. Our metal's been beaten to hell and back over the course of the deployment, and our meat isn't doing much better. Truth be told, I don't think we could survive another deployment without your help. Uncle Devinder has nice things to say about you, woman integrity and all that. Honorable man, haven't always seen eye to eye, but he's sticking his neck out to help us just like you are. When you're as beaten up as we are, that means a lot. Meant to that, seeing double since the last head hit I took, this is Viscacha, and Conqueror's been bleeding from the ears for three days now, but has anyone from the fifth come to relieve us? Relieve me? Relieve any of us? Hell no, they haven't. So Peregrine, we got lots of name people going on here. And so here we are again, all lit up in these busted ass ceramic cocoons, getting ready to slam ourselves into the ground for the hundredth time. Speaking of which, watch your head, Commander, we're prepped and ready to drop. We got mechs on the ground, Commander, ready to dance in Capellans when you are. Okay, that must be them. It's interesting you actually see the drop pods in these, um, urban maps. It looks quite nifty. Okay, we gotta support and protect Bravalance. At least one must survive in evac. There are four of them currently. How badly are they? About, they're starting at they have varying amounts of armor, but they're not terribly bad. Destroy the invasion force, which is over there, at least for now. There might be some more, you know, um, side attacks, but for now we're okay. Let's do a um, big jump forward into cover. The jump jets will be nice for the buildings here, and we did add jump jets to the um, Centurions. Roger. Just turned out to have enough space. Uh, yeah, we'll just sprint for now, because we can get a little bit further with it. Got it. <clears throat> And yeah, hopefully Bravo Lance doesn't get flanked. Coming drop pads, track the trajectory, and mark the LZ on your screen. Capellan reinforcements. Lirans look like how Steiner's decided to join the party. I hate parties. Okay. So are they going to fight each other as well? It could be. Umbra's on a spider. Enemy detected. Unknown mech, no tonnage info or anything. So we're gonna make sure have to make sure we're in a position where the enemies are shooting us. Oh, there's the reinforcements probably coming in right there. Uh, that's interesting. One of the mechs is standing in the drop zone. Receiving you. Hmm. I think we are going to reserve. Oh, I guess it looks like all the enemies have gone. I don't know. I'll reserve anyway. Reserving action. Although some of these guys may have had LRMs. And if we'd given them vision of the enemy, they may have been able to fire. Dang. Can jump to there. Uh, but my medium lasers won't really be in range. Maybe I'll jump to here. We're going to have ooh, seven evasion pips. Medium lasers in range. And we'll be in the woods. I like it. Engaging jump jets. So what do we see? We got a locust. And an urban mech. Urban mech that is packed with a PPC. Why is it laggy? Well, all these shots are sort of going to suck. Um, I think what we'll do here is we'll just take the one large laser shot. <clears throat> we still have to manage our heat on this mech. Um, just strip a pip. Although it's got the... Um, oh, they, they both have the other uh, guard up. Engaging so yeah, target. we'll hit you. Although you might die from the drop pods depending on when that falls. No damage detected. I was doing that just to strip an evasion pit, but now I'm thinking maybe that was unnecessary. Maybe, you know what? I will go after the Locust. I'll just fire the Lerm 5s. Just strip an evasion pip off. But I don't think there's a lot that's going to happen this round. Uh, I mean, we could save some of these. It's got the highest hit chance, but it's not like much is going to happen anyway. We'll just fire a single large laser. Copy that. But yeah, if I'd moved up sooner, there may have been some alarm rounds from our allies. And that would have been kind of nice. Aye, aye. The Wolverine. Yeah, no reason to generate this much heat. Actually, these th this guy's going to move first. So I'm not even sure it's worth taking a shot. But I guess we are going to sink all of it. Firing. 
I know. Maybe something will be different. We'll be happy that we've uh, stripped off an evasion pit. <clears throat> Maybe our allies will be able to take advantage of some stuff. So just you vacate the AoE immediately, Commander. That lance of yours just deployed is under orders to destroy any hostile mech encounters, including yours. Appreciate the warning. We aren't going anywhere. Not without the prototype. No, what you're here for. Oh, so it's not a drop ship. It's just drop pod. So I guess there's not... Yeah, there was no landing damage there. The Irby did not die. Oh, there you go. You got a shot off on the Locust, thanks to its lowered evasion, so that's something. But it's going to get its evasion back. We might be able to get some shots in the back, though. Umbra's got to be careful here. She's drawing fire, and we want to save as many of those people as we can. I'm assuming. I mean, assuming there's a bonus for all of them, <clears throat> and then there's a requirement of at least one. But we'll still try to save as many as we can. There you go. Good. They're fighting each other. That's wonderful. I'm going to try to avoid getting between them. Because most likely they'll just shoot each other if they're the closest target. It's a lot of people getting actions before me. A crab. Okay. So, I mean, we've got some melee possibilities, which actually isn't too bad. Um, ooh, fire starter. Once we've got active. Commander. Starting with the melee makes sense because we're going to get the strip away some evasion without anything. I guess we'll go for the one who's not sitting in the woods right now. Let me turn those on so I remember later. But we'll do this and... We actually might just be able to one-shot you with the hit from the back. It's 55 melee damage. Yeah, actually. Engaging physical attack. No. I think we hit a leg. We did generate a lot of stability damage, though, which uh, enough for it to become unsteady, which removed all of its evasion, which is huge. Ready for orders. Aye, aye. Yeah. Go with this. Yeah, we can probably just... Actually, can I jump behind you? No, I can't. Um, let's not jump, then. Just because we're going to generate, I think, a fair amount of heat from this. It's not, Wolverine doesn't run as hot as some of our other designs here, and yeah, it's pretty good, but yeah. On it. Leg, head hit, pilot's going to take a second injury here. <clears throat> I don't think that's really going to help us clear anything. It's a shame that, like, it's not dead yet. It would be really convenient if it were. But there we go. Our allies are able to shoot the one who's down. Oh, it did hit the other torso. Pilot incapacitated. Well, there you go. I mean, we don't care about having every e e extra parts of that mech, but it is interesting. We can get nice uh, height advantage here. That will open us up to potentially more attacks from these mechs, though. So, despite the fact that the height advantage gives us a bonus to hit, and it's just generally cool. Oh, yeah, we're loaded with lerms and stuff. Hold on. Never mind. Let me go there. I'll still have a height advantage to some of the attacks. Roger. Boom, boom. We're definitely going to have someone get someone with high guts to be able to soak the uh, recoil if we're going to keep using the uh, ultra auto cannons. But we're going to go. We're going to have someone with high guts anyway, mostly for the heat sinking. Um, yeah, we'll unload that. Now, let's see how you I mean, he's got forty percent reduction, but I mean, what are you going to do? A Apparently, we're going to strip off a jump jet. That's nice. Standing by. Um, we need a variety of things. I think what we'll do is just land here. Probably not use the sperm, but we'll have the uh, the we'll small go. laser. Keep using the buildings for some some cover to sort of split the the opposing forces. Affirmative. <clears throat> oh, I mean, I know he's got cover and guarded, but. It's a darn shame that we didn't strip anything else off here. The game's really laggy here. Must be something about this map, but I wasn't getting that in uh, my previous runs. Something about the number of things going on? I don't know, because I was I was playing before I got access to heavy metal. I was playing a bunch of BattleTech and experiencing the whole, the um, the heavy the uh, the urban maps. And I got nothing running on the computer. Yeah, I don't know. Minimal. Go, go, allies. Say, so we just have to destroy everything. We don't have to bring them anywhere. We just have to destroy all the enemies and then call that good enough. Urban mech with the PPC. 
Shame he didn't hit him. Okay. Receiving you. Yes, Commander. Well, Standing by. Okay, I'll start with you. Well, you'd be hitting him from behind, but well within your min range. I think it might be the building transparency calculations. I guess maybe we'll go for this crab. Yeah, I think so. And I will use a uh, precise shot here. Bring up the fire rate. Mm, did not rip down this torso. Got into the structure, but didn't pop it. PPCs against the enemy fire starter. Nice. Who's got a head hit? Hmm. <clears throat> uh, so that's me sort of standing in the open. I don't have much heat. I could run up in melee, but I don't really like any of the facings that this would end me up with. So I think the thing to do... Oh, too bad I can't land on that building. Um, I can land on this one, but again, I'm a little concerned. I mean, I guess everyone's shooting each other, although this guy might shoot me, because I'd be his only target. Ditto some of these. Although... No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to jump fairly far back here and hit this guy from behind. There you go. I was going to say, it's not going to be the, the orange uh, icon. Overheat alert. Ah, uh, if we're doing consecutive deployment, actually, we should probably minimize that. Targeting rear armor. A little structural damage from heat wouldn't be the end of the world. But maybe we'll be a little cautious at this point. Standing by. Uh, so this guy's running pretty hot, but what we can do is run here. And there, there we go. Hit him in the back. Beautiful. I'm gonna fire the small laser as well, and I'm okay with that. Right, torso destroyed. Pilot injury. I think he's already taking a head hit as well, and he's knocked down. That actually might be the end of him. Unless he's got a bonus hit point. I think that's his third point of damage. Yep, pilot incapacitated. Nice. Waiting for orders. Shut in. Uh, I don't know who's left to act. It might be him. I don't know. I think this will be fine. This high ground. No, I actually don't know who's got the action left over. So locust. I think we hit the crab. He's already damaged, and the fire, the hit rate's pretty good. I'll put us right on the edge of, of overheat. Torso destroyed. Target's taken a critical hit. Fifty cent Steiner done. More company. Capellan drop pods. Lyo drop pods. Wait, what? Oh my god. This keeps going forever. Okay, well, I'm happy I didn't generate too much heat damage. I hope we've got enough ammo for all this. This is a hell of a fight. I don't know if I just turned down some of the smoke or fog effects or something. I don't know what the hell is lagging things. I do like that. Running through the street, crushing cars. I like how they have the cars with, like, doors open to, like, show you that, no, people have evacuated. They heard battle mechs were coming, and they just effed off. Damn, Irby's still alive. Not hitting me, though. That's good, that's good, that's good. A lot of heat here. We can avoid a jump, that would be good. Um, whether or not I shoot here, or if I just bulwark. Well, it's not too shabby, actually. Yeah, so heat-wise, it's 40 for 18. So it's 50% more heat for slightly more than 50% damage. Yeah, I think the large laser is slightly more heat efficient. Engaging target. There we go. It's less tonnage efficient, but it's got bigger range. But I think it's slightly more heat efficient. God damn. These guys are being vicious to each other. I love it. Standing by. Um, so, as far as I can tell, all of them have acted. Uh, 
Uh, I would like to raise my precision here. You know what? Maybe I should. If he, like, decides to start PPCing me, that would be kind of poor. Um, where is your PPC? Your right arm. It's probably what I want to focus on then. On it. Right, leg destroyed. Well, alright, that's something. It actually slows you down in initiative, which will end. There's some called shot possibilities. There are, we have some people who are acting on uh, phase four, some of my allies. They might be taking some more pot shots there. Looks like they're going for the locust. Okay, and destroying it. That's okay. That's it for Steiner. Yes, Commander. What's up, boss? How's your heat? Pretty high. Uh, I guess we'll go for the torso, because it's already damaged, and knocking that off will knock off the arm, of course. Normally it's slightly more armored, but if it's already taken a little damage, we'll try for it. Awaiting orders. Do I actually have line of sight right now? Um, if I turned, it looks like I would. I can get one evasion and pitch my move to here as well. Not the greatest of fire odds. I guess oh, I've got the dual large lasers, right? I can just sit back... This is really not a close-up brawler. Confirmed. The heat might be a bit much. No, we're okay. Ah, uh, we'll just go for the kill here. It's not like I care about urban mech. Salvage. Alright, that's all of them. One less target. Now we get the other set of drop pods. Got people. Leo and Capellan? Or is that the same? Wait, is Capellan the nation and Leo the, the house? That might be it. I always do that with... Um, Lyrian and the Federated Sons? Davian? Something like that. Maybe that's what it is. It's like, right, right, right. These are two different things. Um, well, what we're going to do here is we're going to walk forward. Well, I have to walk forward some because I can't trust that my allies aren't going to get themselves killed. So, um, at least some of the heat will go away. And you can mostly just keep sniping from the rooftop. Oh, there's not a spot on the higher rooftop. That's too bad. Yeah, I'll just um, I'll just turn you so you're not facing your back to where they're coming from, and then you can brace up. And you will jump down. Ooh, not as far as I would have liked, but to here. Also doesn't burn off as much heat as we might like. But yeah, I can't get, let my allies get in too much trouble here. Oh, they got themselves a flea. Now, the flea is just a giant amount of damage. It could even have one of those coil weapons. The flea is really squishy, but high damage. If I had a turn, I would actually investigate. Oh, they got a blackjack, too. Blackjack's your starter in the campaign. Alright, finally my turn. Okay. No, it does have a lot of damage potential on it, though. Aye, Are we aye. all acting on turn three? That's interesting. Uh, including a melee round, which I'm kind of in favor of. I think targeting the flea makes sense. If we can just take it out real fast. Engaging physical attack. Oh, there we go. Unsteady. Good. Get rid of all of its evasion pips. Very nice. Long-range PPC shot. That would have been nice, too. It leads to unsteadiness. Oh, you're doing the your split shot. Or maybe you were aiming at the other one, and it was a really bad miss. Let me wait on you. Commander. Receiving you. Yeah, go for the flea. There you go. Hostile removed. So it's just these two. Okay, that's not bad. Crunch, crunch, crunch the cars. Ally stripping off some evasion pips. Awaiting orders. We may want to do. Um, yeah, one precise shot. 
so that next round he's acting on a two. Moving out. So all of our people will move before he does. I think that's probably a really good idea. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough like odds for headshots. Like I don't know. I'll put it in. Who knows? Although I guess with 50 damage from a large laser, even a single headshot is not going to lead to a kill. Yes, Commander. Got it. But the important thing is bring him down in the initiative order. Got it. Actually, if we knock him down, that would also bring it down. But we're not going to do it this turn. But he's fairly unsteady. He's got no evasion. And we're all going to get to fire on him before he goes. I'm willing to bet he doesn't take another action. Or if he does, he probably won't have much in the way of weapons. I'll do this instead of meleeing, because our hit odds are going to be pretty good. And we'll do more damage all with weapons the weapons. Committed. Or we would if more things hit. I guess one of the things with this is we're not going to knock people down with energy weapons. Um, I may want it to change the order to use... Yeah, I probably should have. Okay, left torso. Destroy. That's good. That's a pilot injury. Standing by. There you go. This has got plenty of knockdown. Got it. Might just kill him, though. If we'd gotten an ammo explosion or another torso, that would have been great, because that would have been damage. And right now, I think the best loot... Ah, uh, I guess the crab is a what? A 40? I don't remember. There we go. That's him done. That's it. What a shit show. First House Lyo kicks in our door. Then House Steiner comes flying in. What's next? The Dan Fed Rats? I can help it. We're going to find the Raven, grab it, and wipe out every trace of Black Caldera's research project. If there's nothing on... Phaedra home worth fighting over the great houses will pack up their toys and go home. Incoming message! Commander 18, please contact me when you reach safe altitude. We need to talk. Uh-oh. Capellans. Mission successful. Most of these um, uh, flashpoints have a decision at some point. And some of them are pretty significant. do 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 all right, uh, 300 grand is nice. Yeah, well, the crab's a 50. Uh, no plus weapons, huh? I don't think so. All right, well, we'll grab a piece of the crab. A 50, it's, yeah, it's still medium, which is nice. Uh, we'll grab the blackjack. And I guess some fire starter. And then whatever loot is fine. Now, this might not be the uh, consecutive deployment now. It might be the next two missions that are. Let's see what she has to say. What is it, Marina? I think so. Prototype 2. Thanks. Thank you for speaking with me, Commander. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't reach out to mercenary in the employee rival state, but we're living in extraordinary times. I'm going to do for you, Lady Marina. One of my lieutenants spotted you fighting along with the detachment of the 5th Defenders of Adurian. While I'm sure that you fought honorably, the cause that you're supporting is anything but honorable. The Duchy of Adurian stole something great value from House Liao. I don't know how to say this properly. Liao? Um, and we want it back. We will pay you a great deal of money to recover our asset and return it to me. We get it, Lady Marina. As for your offer, we'll think about it. See that you do. If you return what's ours, I'll put the CCAF out. I'll pull the CCAF out of Phaedra home now and forever. You will also receive generous compensation for your services, of course, money, political asylum for your enduring friends, whatever you may need. That's actually fairly generous because they're my offer. I don't want blood in my hands. I mean, backing out of a contract is bad, but that's interesting. Lead an interesting life, Commander. Oh, this Peregrine. We military types don't get the luxury of negotiating with our op force. They used to skip the preamble and jump straight to the senseless violence. You could always go mercenary when... You could always go mercenary when this is all over. Speaking of which, let's talk about what comes next. What comes next is simple. We find out where the Black Caldera is keeping its stolen prototype. I can tell you how to do that, if the, but there's something I'm going to need from you in return. It isn't enough to steal the Raven for House Merrick. We also need to wipe out every trace of Black Caldera's reverse engineering product, project. As long as it exists, the Great Houses will tear Fade Your Home apart to get at it. If you're talking about, like, permanently, like, d destroying more, like, of this history and tech, 
I'm never going to really be in favor of that. That isn't what our client paying us for. We're here to steal a raven, not to stop a war. Well, too bad, because you can't get to the raven without our help, and we won't lift a finger if you won't help us protect our home. You won't, huh? Odd stance to take for a bunch of soldiers who just agreed to turn against their own government. Seriously. We agreed... We agreed to my uncle Devinder's deal because Dame Catherine's actions were putting the Endurian people at risk. We are the goddamn defenders of Endurian. We swore an oath to protect the system, and we're going to do it, even if it means kicking House Humphreys right in the ass. Our lances can help each other, or help one another to accomplish their goals, or they can go it alone and fail. It's your choice, Commander. You've got a deal. If you help us get the Raven, we'll help you destroy Black Caldera's reverse engineering project. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Frankly, we're going to need the help. As you saw in that last deployment, this project's bringing all the great houses out of the woodwork. Speaking of which, we've got Shugo Yamaguchi on the line. He wants to talk something about a tremendous offer he has for his favorite mercenaries. Simple recovery mission, he says. Take a message. We've got work to do. Hmm. Damn right we do, Commander. I'm sending you the details on a Black Caldera convoy. If you hit it, you should find the intel we're looking for. The location of Project Prototype Raven and the coordinates of the Black Caldera's R&D facilities. Bravo Lance, you're with me. Keep the Pelons off the Commander 18's back. We all know what we have to do. Let's get it done. Good hunting, Bravo Lance. We'll catch up with you on the other side. So there's no decision at any point. At least not yet about what to do. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we don't, we don't have to deploy right away. Um, we're gonna put a cut in here regardless. Uh, there might be some more skill ups. Yeah, there's some gunnery. I mean, the first level of tactics may or may not matter for Meteor here. I don't know, Meteor sounds like someone who should be dropping, you know, firepower on top of people's heads. Whereas myself, I'll grab the gunnery point for now. Ranger still got nothing. Um. Shut in. So you are the other person who's been doing piloty stuff. We might leave you there. And early on, I feel like maybe rushing the ace pilot is good. I think long term, the breach and the uh, the coolant vent is good. But you know what? Maybe we'll work on um, a second pilot. If he shut in. This just reminds me of like where to. Um, where to deploy, like the like what mechs to put these pilots in when I'm assigning them jobs. We do have a little bit of money. Well, still no reason to necessarily hire more people right now. Okay, well, we'll put a cut in here. When we get back, we are going to continue down this prototype line. Thanks for watching. See you then.